Well, we're on a new adventure today. We're gonna be uh, going on a bit of a road trip, find a little bit of treasure along the way. We got the rig ready to go, flat tech trailer, the good old diesel TDI, lights work, and we're off on an adventure. <laughs> jewelry maybe even vintage jewelry let's see we're gonna just continue strapping her down getting it a little lower making sure she's safe for the trip home look at this beauty I know you guys are all thinking how could one guy be so lucky to have this don't laugh at me. Yeah, she's what I expected. We'll see once we dig through boxes what's all there. Well, it looks like it's mostly complete minus an engine. Figure out what to do with it. But meanwhile, we're going to jump back in the chariot and head home. still stuck inside there hopefully looks like most of it's there in one shape or another so we have a 69 gear a gold quick walkthrough supposed to be a California car has California title and some importation documents so hopefully that's the case somebody obviously took it down to bare metal at some point and started and then ran out of steam uh, pan has it. There's a repair panel in there, so I'm assuming it's needed. Dash pads in there somewhere too. Seats are complete. Have the headrests. Um, nice velour back in whenever. Uh, beam is out of it. So far, without lifting it up, the body looks in really good shape, rust-wise. Has a few dings and dents, I'm sure. Uh, you can see one right about here. But uh, that's nothing too bad. Still has the uh, uh, some homemade disc or off-road JMR disc brake kit, one wheel. Still has original rockers. You can see the seal in there and the little groove here. That's usually a good indicator that the rockers are original, which is bonus because that's where they all rust out. Uh, nose has been tapped. You can see that. Been hit it probably more than once, but that's how it is. I got a little bit of thick mud up there, but that's pretty typical for a Gia. Other side does not look as bad. Eh, looks like it's had inner fenders there. Look a little, look like they've had some work done to them over the time. I'm assuming 
but that's the original color or red of some kind uh, judging by the doors they're also a red and the pan yeah, had new brake lines installed inner splash pans look really nice again where a California car so it should be I think if it was one shade of primer right now it would look way better than it does same in there looks pretty good uh, I think it was a semi-automatic car I'm not 100% sure on that the transmission standard but I'm thinking there could have been a vacuum canister sitting up there or, or something for the early Tiptronic kind of thing but yeah so we're going to uh, park it for now and come up with a game plan I guess we've got four options let it sit outside in the rain I'll make it five let it rust to nothing that sounds like not a good option uh, we might build it for ourselves and then sell it or maybe a customer comes along and wants a Gia project and we sell them the project and the job maybe we do that or maybe someone just wants a Gia project and needs it more than we do so we'll find out but if you got some ideas put her in the comments and uh, maybe we'll listen maybe we won't but uh, that's it for today and today's treasure hunting a 69 Gia. Thanks for watching.